you, Marina, for nominating me, and I'd like to congratulate all of the fellow honorees um, this morning. Um, so good morning, and thank you for this incredible honor. I want to um, I want to take a moment to thank my YWCA family that is here, our staff, and our board. Thank you all so much for the support. Thank you to all my friends that are that have come in from far and near uh, to be here today, and um, and thank you to my family, my husband, and my daughter Simone uh, for joining me and for always supporting me. Um, I love that I am here today surrounded by women and that the entire, that the entire point of today is supporting other women. But ladies, we need to talk. <laughs> and what I'm going to talk about may be considered controversial, but before I do, let me set the groundwork for what I'm going to discuss with you today. I work for an organization whose mission is to eliminate racism, empower women, and promote peace, justice, freedom, and dignity for all. In 2021, you would think that this mission would be non-controversial, but it is not. Much of what YWCA stands for and much of what I believe is considered radical. In many instances, Talking about this topic, or these topics, is very uncomfortable. So let's rip the band-aid off and jump right in, shall we? I want to start with a discussion of the F word. You know which word I'm talking about. The big F word, feminism. I am a feminist, which means I believe in the social, political, and economic equity of all human beings, regardless of gender, race, ethnicity, nationality, gender expression, disability, or religion. So what's so bad about that? How is being a feminist controversial? When did becoming when did being a feminist become a bad thing? I was a fe it was feminist who changed the course of women in this country and still fight to ensure the freedoms that are that freedoms are not limited by gender. In fact, I invite everyone here to think back 102 years ago, 1919, when YWCA was formed. Women, meaning 90% of the people in this room, could not vote. Married women could not own property. We could not open banking accounts without a man's permission. Wow. <laughs> As I look at this room today, it is filled with incredible women. Women who own businesses, own property, hold public office, women who save lives, women who participate in and change the world every single day. But none of that came easy. People fought and died for the rights we all enjoy today. And when you consider what women have accomplished, have accomplished and the differences between now and 2019, we could all sit back, smile, and feel like our work is done. But ladies, our work is not done. Our work is not done when teachers can be asked to present opposing views to the Holocaust. Our work is not done when women are paid less than men for doing the same job for the, with the same qualifications. Our job is not done when families do not have access to health care or go hungry every day. Our work is not done when women no longer have the right to decide what to do with their own bodies. Our work is not done when thousands of rape kits sit untested in warehouses throughout this country. Our work is not done when nearly 50% of transgender individuals contemplate suicide. Our work is not done when indigenous and women of color continue to go missing 
without justice. Our work is not done when refugees are labeled as criminals. Our work is not done when it has become more difficult to vote. And our work is certainly not done when domestic violence shelters continue to be filled to capacity. So ladies, our work is not done. Our work is not done, but this room inspires me. It inspires me because I know that women in this room can right that wrong. This is the group of women who do the work every day to make the world better for our peers and future generations. This is the group of women who can and will change the world. Women like Judy Robeson, Ginger Francis, Elia Mares, Ann Borek, Marina Montesvais, the people that I am being honored with today. My daughter and my mother, who passed away six years ago, but made sure I registered to vote the day that I turned 18. So many of the women here, women like you, who serve on boards, raise families, and care about one another and our community. Our work is not done. I am proud to stand in this room amongst each one of you, women and men, and I am ready to continue doing the work together. Thank you for your time, and especially for this honor. Thank you very much.